Breaking news. A U.S. judge just denied bail for Ghislaine Maxwell, the woman at the center of the Jeffrey Epstein case. Maxwell pleading not guilty to charges of recruiting minors who were then allegedly sexually abused to conspiracy and perjury. At the video conference arraignment hearing, the government called the alleged Jeffrey Epstein sex crime accomplice a flight threat, saying they had even found her cell phone wrapped in tin foil, presumably in a misguided attempt to avoid detection when she was apprehended at her New Hampshire residence just a few weeks ago. To Fox News' is Brian Yenis, who is live at the Metropolitan Detention Center in Brooklyn, where Maxwell is being held. What was this like, Brian? <laughs> Liz, well, it was pretty remarkable. This teleconference where about a thousand people were listening in, the federal judge making it clear that she believed that Gillen Maxwell is a flight risk. The fact that she has international ties and substantial financial means meant to her that she believed that there was a sufficient a belief that she could flee if released. She has some $20 million in some 15 accounts that we know of. Uh, the prosecution brought up the example that when the FBI I knocked on her door on July 3rd in New Hampshire. Uh, she fled into another room and that they did find her cell phone wrapped in tinfoil in a foolish attempt, as the prosecution characterized it, and trying to stop the cell phone signal. They also note that she had been hiding for the entire year uh, from place to place to place. And again, the judge ruling that she could not let her go with confidence with an ankle bracelet and not know that she would perhaps flee to another country. She had three passports. She's a citizen of France. France has a non-extradition law for its citizens, so there was a concern that if she fled to France, we would never see her again. The defense made the argument that because of COVID-19 and the uh, circumstances inside of America's uh, jails and prisons, that it was the safer route to not allow her to be detained until the start of her trial. Gillen Maxwell actually proposed that she would pay to stay in a luxury Manhattan hotel until the start of her trial on July 12th, 2021. And to that, again, the judge ruling that it was not sufficient. Given the, 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 the severity of the crimes, that is the abuse of minors, as well as the length of time that she faces if convicted, 35 years in prison if convicted, the judge ruled that this 58-year-old faced too much, that she had too much of a motivation to flee. And that was the decision that was brought today. Uh, two victims, Liz, were able to speak. One uh, gave a statement, uh, Annie Farmer, she spoke calling Gillen Maxwell a sexual predator. The other said that without Gillen Maxwell, Jeffrey Epstein could not have done what she did, what he did. Liz. Hmm. You know, the arrogance is kind of amazing. Oh, let me just stay at the St. Regis. I'll pay. You can watch me. I, I, that is stunning. She wanted to stay in a luxury hotel, Brian? Yeah, she did. That was the offer from her defense attorney that she would pay for her stay at a luxury <laughs> hotel. Uh, and that was not enough. She was guarded, by the way, when you remember when she was mm -hmm. arrested by by British, former British military guys. And again, the judge did not believe that she was being forthright with her financial means. The $20 million, 15 accounts, it's the belief that it's just the tip of the iceberg. Brian Yenis at Brooklyn uh, at the Arraignment Detention Center. Thank you very much. Ghislaine Maxwell has been denied bail and no St. Regis or, or the Ritz-Carlton for her.